Emperor penguins breed during the southern hemisphere winter on the Antarctic sea ice. The subject of Antarctic sea ice extent attracts headlines such as scientists report a dramatic drop in the extent of Antarctic sea ice. And in apparent contradiction is the headline of increase in Antarctic sea ice and of danger to the penguins. Melting sea ice could wipe out 98% of emperor penguins by the end of the century. To resolve these conflicting and often alarming headlines, we ask the obvious question, is the Antarctic sea ice extent increasing or is it decreasing? First, uh, some background. Antarctica is a large continent surrounded by ocean. It is also surrounded by fluctuating levels of sea ice. The sea ice expands in the southern hemisphere winter and contracts during the summer. The extent of the sea ice during winter tends to peak during September and contracts to a minimum usually in February. To answer the question, is the Antarctic sea ice extent increasing or is it decreasing? We need to know some basics. For example, how is the size of Antarctic sea ice measured? It is measured by its extent. An extent is defined as the total area in which the ice concentration is at least 15%. What are the reliable sources of such measurement data. Currently, only the data from satellite record is considered sufficiently reliable for studying Antarctic sea ice trends. The satellite record started 1979. It measures the sea ice extent from January to December for each year. We can first look at the Earth Observatory copy of the data going up to beginning of 2021. The blue dotted line is the 1981 to 2010 average. The thin red line is the 2020 variation. And the thick red line is the January to March 2021 variation. The yellow outline shows the record low extent recorded 2017. We will now walk you through the comments made by climate scientists. Prior to the record low of 2017, for three consecutive Septembers from 2012 to 2014, satellites observed new record highs for winter sea ice extent. And in fact, from the start of satellite observations in 1979 to 2014, total Antarctic sea ice increased by about 1% per decade. The scientists carefully conclude that whether the increase was a sign of meaningful change is uncertain because ice extents vary considerably from year to year around Antarctica. They also comment that within Antarctic sea ice extent, there is, as you would expect, variations from place to place around the continent. Sea ice extent has increased somewhat in the Eastern Ross Sea sector, while it has decreased in the seas around the Antarctic Peninsula. They summarize that Antarctica sea ice shows a nearly flat trend but large-scale variations make the trend very noisy. In other words, the sea ice extent goes up and down, naturally and often. This is not surprising. The European project for ice coring in Antarctica does not measure sea ice extent per se, but it does show this wild swings of temperature in the Antarctic ice cores over the past 800,000 years. And nothing has changed this past 2,000 years. Before coming up to date, a quick summary of sea ice extent trends up to 2017. 
from 2012 to 2014, there were new record highs for winter sea ice extent. The highest ever winter maximum was in September 2014. From 1979 to 2014, total Antarctic sea ice increased by about 1% per decade. Then, a record low extent was recorded 2017. We will now take an update on trends right up to February 2022. September 2021, Antarctic sea ice extent reached its annual peak early on the first of the month. At 18.75 million square kilometers, the maximum extent was well above the long-term average. And then, on February 25, 2022, Antarctic sea ice extent reached its annual minimum extent at 1.92 million square kilometers. It was the lowest on record. A perfect example of the trends being noisy, which is recognized by the comment that the low value was likely due to natural variability rather than a long term decline in trend. This comment sums up the noisiness of the data. Since the year 2013, Antarctic sea ice has exhibited its highest and lowest extents on record, the highest ever winter maximum in September 2014 and the lowest ever summer minimum in February 2022. To emphasize, the satellite record spans over four decades and although the ice has shown increasing and decreasing trends, over portions of that record, few of those trends have been statistically significant. Year-to-year -year variability has dominated, especially over the last decade. From the start of the satellite record in November 1978 through February 2022, Antarctic sea ice showed a slightly positive long-term trend in most months with the exceptions of January, February and November, which showed slightly negative trends. None of the trends are statistically significant. And one last nail in the coffin of those misinterpreting Antarctic sea ice extent records. The overall trend as of early 2022 is nearly zero. Based on the recorded satellite data, we can therefore ignore such headlines as this, and this, and especially this. And we can be confident that our friends, the Antarctic Emperor Penguins, can be safe in the knowledge that the recorded satellite data emphatically demonstrates that the overall trend of Antarctic sea ice extent as of early 2022 is nearly zero. If you enjoyed this video, you are invited to join our community on Locals.com. This link will take you directly to our site.